I'm going to place four coins along the radius of this circular turntable. I'm now going to set the turntable into motion, gradually increasing its angular speed and I want you to watch and see what happens to the coins. As you can see the coin slipped in order with the coin nearer to the centre requiring a much greater angular speed. I'm now going to use this double coin to create a coin of a greater mass. I've marked it with a black dot so it's easier to see which is which. I've placed the two coins at the same distance from the centre and will again gradually increase the angular speed of the disc. We can see that the coins slip for roughly the same angular speed. This suggests that the mass of the coins doesn't influence the speed at which they will slip. And this point is the centre of the circle and the coin is here. There will be three forces acting on the coin there will be an upward normal reaction force on the coin, a downward weight force on the coin, and a friction force directed towards the centre of the circle. We will consider the case when the coin is just about to slip, when the friction force is taking its maximum value. The vertical forces will be in balance, so R will be equal to mg. The resultant force will be F, the friction force acting towards the centre, and this must be equal to the mass times acceleration. But the acceleration is equal to R omega squared, where R is the radius and omega is the angular speed. So the friction force will be equal to m r omega squared and we know that the friction force will be the coefficient of friction mu multiplied by the normal reaction which in this case is equal to mg. cancel the m's and rearrange to give omega equal to the root of mu g over r. Straight away we can see that this expression for omega is independent of mass which explains why the two coins of different masses slip at approximately the same angular speed. Also if we decrease r which would be the case for coins nearer to the centre of the circle then the value of omega will increase. This explains why the coins near the centre of the circle slip last, while those further away from the centre slip at smaller angular speeds.